All right, now here in example three, uh, find the minimum or maximum values. You actually already know how to do this based on example one. Tell whether the function f of x is equal to a negative three x squared minus 12 x plus 10 has a minimum value or a maximum value. Then find the minimum or maximum value. Solution, because a is equal to a negative three and a negative three is less than zero, the parabola opens down and the function has a maximum value. All right, so once again, a is a negative three. That means that the function will open downward, which means it has this shape. Now, because it has this shape, that means it has a maximum value. Had it open upward, it would have this shape, same U shape, but the value, the vertex would have been a minimum value. All right, now, to find the maximum value, find the vertex. Well, we're gonna use our axis of symmetry equation to find the X value of the vertex. All right, and we should know that by now, X is equal to a negative b over 2a. The negative is in the formula, so we bring that over. The b value is a negative 12, so we bring that down. The a value is a negative 3, so we bring that down. So first we do our math just right within here. That's it. Don't worry about that negative sign yet. Just right within here. All right, now what's 2 times a negative 3? That's a negative 6. So now I have 12, a negative 12, divided by a negative six. So a negative 12 divided by a negative six is a positive two. And a positive two times that negative on the outside will end up being a negative two. So that means the X coordinate of the vertex. Also, this is your axis of symmetry, don't forget. But the X coordinate of the vertex is a negative two. So now we take the negative two and we plug it back into the original equation to find the F of X value. Don't forget, f of x is really y. That's really y. So we plug that back in. So we put a negative 2 here and a negative 2 there. We do our basic math, and we end up with, at f of negative 2, f of x is equal to 22. So the minimum value of the function is f of negative 2 is equal to 22. That's a fancy way of saying x is 22, Excuse me, x is negative 2 and y is 2. Example 4, find the minimum value of a function. Suspension bridges. The suspension bridge cables between the two towers of the McKinnock Bridge in Michigan form a parabola that can be modeled by the graph of y is equal to 0 0.000097 times x squared minus 0.37x plus 549, where x and y are measured in feet. What is the height of the cable above the water at its lowest point? Solution. The lowest point of the cable is at the vertex of the parabola. This is our parabola. So the vertex is in here somewhere. That's our lowest point because it opens upward. Find the x-coordinate of the vertex. Use a is equal to 0 0.00097 and b is equal to a negative 0.37. So we use the axis of symmetry uh, equation to find the, um, the x value of the uh, vertex. So x is equal to negative b over 2a. We plug in the corresponding values they told us to use and we realize we work here first. Then we apply that. And you know, when you divide these two out, you end up with being a negative. And then a negative times a negative ends up being a positive. So here we end up with, um, and notice they use a calculator. We end up with 1,910 approximately. So now we substitute the 1910 for x in the equation to find a y coordinate. And that's what they did there. So they plug in, and we got the y coordinate being uh, similar to or congruent to about 196. So the cable is about 196 feet above the water at its lowest point. Okay, that concludes today's lesson. So let's get right to work.